Hello everyone, my name is Akhil. A life with disability is a life with disorder. We know physically challenged people face many problems in their day-to-day -day life. Even they face the problems for switching the home appliances. So our idea is an initiative to, to automize all these home appliances just by using an EMG accelerometer. The microcontroller unit used for this part of the project is Stellaris launch pad provided by Texas Instruments. This part is used for signal conditioning of EMG signal. It consists of an INA128 instrumentation amplifier and capacitors to bias the signal properly. The third part is a transmitter unit. It consists of a HD12D encoder IC, a transmitter antenna and a regulated power supply which gives a 5, 5 volts output. This is a receiver unit of the project. It consists of HD12D decoder, a regulated power supply and a receiver antenna. This is a relay network connected on the receiver side of the total project. It consists of ULN2803, a relay driver and a set of 4 relays. The setup for the first part that is the automization part is as shown. The muzzle signal is given to the signal conditioning circuit through two electrodes and this signal is extracted from this circuit and then passed on for the ADC channel of the Stellaris launch pad. From the Stellaris launch pad, relative triggers are used to trigger a 4-bit transmitter circuit. This is how the EMG electrodes are placed on the arm. One electrode is placed on the mid muzzle and the other electrode is placed at the end muzzle. The third, mu the third electrode that is the reference electrode is placed on the elbow where the muzzle content is less. Coming to the EMG signal extraction part, the voltage difference between the two electrodes is amplified through the EMG conditioning circuit. Now, you can clearly observe the consequence of muzzle contraction in the CRO. When the muzzle is stressed, the signal will give maximum voltage. And when the muzzle is relaxed, it gives minimum voltage. Here comes the automization part. When the muzzle is stressed, the bulb goes to the on state and when muzzle is relaxed, the bulb goes to the off state. Coming to the second part of the design, the setup is as shown. It is controlling a mobile arm using accelerometer and EMG. The input from the accelerometer is given to the microcontroller unit and then the 4 bits from the microcontroller unit are used to trigger a 4 bit transmitter circuit. The receiver section of this part consists of a receiver module. The 4 bits transmitted by the transmitter antenna are received by the receiver module and then these 4 bits are used to control the motion of the motors of the base and the arm using the motor driver L293D. Here is a 12 volts power supply which is regulated through a 9 volt, 9 volt regulator and then supplied to these circuits. Front Back The movement of the mobile arm here can be controlled using the EMG signal as shown in the previous part which is used to control the bulbs. 